Hello, fifth grade. Um, today we're on lesson 120. All right, it's the last lesson of the year, so that's excellent. Um, I suppose I better say, in Mr. Rumble's math class, lesson 120 starts right now, but I don't have any cool designs for you. I better get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so the objectives for lesson 120 we will multiply mixed numbers. And that's found on page 783 in your books. The new concept, I guess it's relatively new, but we've basically done all the steps before. They've just kind of walked us through it. Now they won't necessarily walk us through it. You just kind of have to know it. They've said, take the number, the mixed number 3 and 1 third and make it an improper fraction. And then multiply it by 3 fourths. Okay, now instead of telling you to take 3 and 1 third, the mixed number 3 and 1 third, and make it an improper fraction, you will just understand that you need to do that before you multiply two fractions. Okay, um, if this is a mixed number, you're multiplying it with a number, either a, a fraction, an improper fraction, or a, a mixed number, you do have to make this an improper fraction. So we'll take 3 and multiply it by 3 and get 9 and add it to 1 and get 10 thirds. We then multiply that by 3 fourths. Okay, multiply straight across. 10 times 3 is 30. 3 times 4 is 12. At this point you can go, uh, I guess, one of two different ways. You can immediately divide 30 by 12 or you can reduce by finding the greatest common factor of those two numbers. And either way is fine. Um, I'm going to start just dividing 30 and 12 both terms by 2 and I get 15 6 I know that that isn't reduced yet because both are divisible by 3 so I'm going to divide each term by 3 and get 15 divided by 3 is 5 6 divided by 3 is 2 okay so 5 halves is is my answer it is an unreduced fraction though so now I'm going to take and divide 5 by 2 2 times 2 is 4. I have a remainder of 1 half. Okay? Your answer is 2 and 1 half. Why don't you write that down for example, write it down for example 5. 2 and 1 half. Okay? Let's look at example 1. Or I guess there is a new concept. Let's read through it. To multiply mixed numbers, we change the mixed numbers to improper fractions before we multiply. They took 2 and 1 half. Okay? They took 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is five halves. Okay, and then they multiplied it by one and two thirds. Okay, well one times three is three, plus two is five thirds. They multiplied straight across, divided numerator by denominator, and got their answer. Okay, let's look at example one. It says multiply one fifth and four and one half. The fraction one fifth does not change. 4 and 1 half, it needs to become an improper fraction. I take 4 times 2 and get 8, plus 1 is 9 halves. 1 times 9 is 9, 5 times 2 is 10. Your answer for example 1 is 9 tenths. Okay, let's look at the next problem. We have the whole number 3 times 2 and 1 third. This is example two. Um, the number three, we just put it over one. Now we need to multiply by an improper fraction. Okay, so um, two times three is six, plus one is seven, the denominator of three. Three times seven is 21. One times three is three. Now you can take and write out 21 divided by three. Seven times three is 21, no remainder. So our answer is 7. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And if you know this off the top of your heads, feel free to just write 21 thirds is equal to 7. And that was example 2. Example 3. We're going to do practice problem A. 1 and a half times 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, we'll do this one. I said example 3. Okay. We have to change both of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. 1 times 2 is 2, 
plus 1 is 3 halves. Multiply that by 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7 fourths. 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 4 is 8. I have an improper fraction as an answer, as a product. I need to take 21 and divide it by 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 is greater than 21, so I'm going to stick with 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract. 11 minus 6 is 5. My answer ends up being 2 and 5 eighths. And that's what we'll write down for example 3. Um, example 4, I'd like you to make your best smiley face on example 4 and do your best to not have a scary clown face. But if you have the time and you have colored pencils, feel free. And don't get scared and don't dream about him tonight. He will not hurt you. He's very happy. Okay, um, again, this is the last video, I guess, for this year. So have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Go make today great.